So ladies, I've obviously got all of this to come. <laughs> Losing hair, great. <laughs> Write it all down, Christine, you're yes. It's all bad, Christine. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I don't know if I am. <laughs> I think the one thing I wish I'd known about was the placenta. Oh, and for I, no, I, 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 just, I Just be prepared for like a whole nother baby to come out after the baby's <laughs> come out. I genuinely... I had no idea. I had no idea. No one had explained it to me. They were just like, it's going to be the best day of your life. Enjoy. Goodbye. And um, well, I, so I gave birth and thought, finally, I've gave, given birth. And they asked me to keep pushing for the afterbirth. I'm only the like, <laughs> What the hell is an afterbirth? <laughs> and all of a sudden, I, I thought, oh, my heart has come out. My heart. <laughs> Like an organ, a giant organ. I knew my heart was big, but I didn't realise it was that big. <laughs> a giant organ has left my body. And, and someone had to explain to me what it was. We should point out you were 17, I was 17. at the time. Yeah. They still could have said. They could have mentioned it, oh, by the way. <laughs> she didn't want to scare you, probably. <laughs> right, hair. Placenta. <laughs> it's a bit like, you know, when you're about to go to the dentist and everyone tells you their horror stories yeah. about, yeah. oh, my God, when I went to the... It's a bit like that. And actually, you forget a lot of what people say. Mm. We think it's not going to happen to you. For me, there were two things. On the funnier side, it was like, when you get home, when you do the first bath, and you don't realise... Because, obviously, they move. Yeah. <laughs> and they're really wet and slippery. And then you've got the soap, which makes them... So, literally, they're like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're trying to hold on to this sort of wriggling, shrieking thing. So, anyway, just a wet wipe. <laughs> <laughs> just a wet wipe. You don't wipe. need to bath them every day. No, yeah. for the first six okay. months. How long, how long have you got left? Two months left. Eight two weeks? Months, oh, yeah. Yeah. On, yeah. On a more months. serious note, that what I did notice was that suddenly my world felt like it had gone, this is with the first baby, like tiny. Because, mm. you know, suddenly you can't just get up and go, oh, yeah, I'll just go mm. off down the road and meet my friends in the pub or... It's just really, really weird. So with your hormones and everything, you just you do for a while feel as though you're in this complete bubble. Yeah. Mm. But it's not necessarily... For me, it didn't feel like a particularly nice bubble. It felt yeah. like a bit of a constrictive... Mm. bubble, if I'm honest. It took a while for me to get yeah, over that. Yeah, I can relate to that. Look, on a positive note, my experience, I had the best boobs for nine months. <laughs> it was incredible, <laughs> and I really enjoyed that part of it. It was fabulous. Um, but uh, little things you forget. So, um, first time I ever took Zach out in a pram, and my mobile phone rang, so I, you know, the pram was there, and I kind of, like, walked up the... You know, you know when you walk and talk? So I was doing that. I was talking to my friend, and all of a sudden, this, literally, I heard beep, and the pram had gone into the middle of the oh, road. No. I know, because... I've never done anything with a pram before and I forgot they have brakes. <laughs> I didn't even know. I thought, because it was flat, I thought if I just left the pram there, it would be fine. But yeah, it's it two literally seconds. Oh two gosh. seconds. That, you must I was so, and I just oh. felt so stupid. I'm like, I, and I thought, I'm a mother now. I can't just, yeah. you know, speak to my friend without having a hand on the pram. So it's little things like oh, that yeah. that you realise oh. your life has changed. So. Yeah. Put the brake on the, the pram. Put the brake on. <laughs> yeah. Don't let go of it. Absolutely. Have you bought anything yet for the baby? Do you know the, we'll we'll sort of kind plan. of following on from what you said. Yet I, I, I'm really superstitious, you know, about weird things. And I kind of sort of thought, well, I've got time. I don't want to buy anything too early just in case and all the rest of it. I think it's a very Northern Irish thing, that. Um, but the one thing I did have bought literally just yesterday is a car seat. <laughs> because I thought... Well, that you could get, out you could sort of get around. And as yeah. you say, you might leave the house for six months. I have no yeah. idea, of course. But at the same time, I thought, well, I'd like to prepare myself too. So that's one purchase I've done. Just need one of those really cheap, massive. light buggies because, if you, well, you yeah, won't be getting on the bus, but uh, when you want to get on the bus... <laughs> you never know. <laughs> just... <laughs> I need to get around. <laughs> Was on the bus. Oh. <laughs> and I used to have to like carry the. Like, I had the cheapest fold up, lightest frame because it was so easy to carry up the yeah. stairs <laughs> and onto the train. <laughs> 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 It's terrible advice, I know. Not at all. It's exactly... Is that where you sometimes forgot that you had a few Oh, my gosh. My mum used to say to me, don't leave the baby on the bus. My mum always used to say... <laughs> yeah, because there was times when I went shopping and, you know, cos I'd never had a baby and didn't expect myself to find myself with a baby at, at 17, I would go into the shops and then be looking at something and then just carry on walking... Yeah. <laughs> ..and forget that I had a baby until, like, 20 minutes later and I'd think, 
Oh, oh no. But Stacey, I've actually, I've actually done that. When I, when I adopted Amara, I was in, I was in um, Karachi, I adopted Amara and I carried her around in a, a, a carry cot. And one breakfast, I literally carried her and I put her under the table, I had my breakfast and I went out into the, <laughs> port, like, to the pool for about an hour. And they were literally, the hotel was like, anybody's baby? <laughs> <laughs> You do hear she those stories. Oh, though, it I, happens. I that's really quite common. Cool. And, and this doesn't, you know. Yes. You, yes. You, you, you're left with basically like a handbag that's had all of its <laughs> stuffing <laughs> taken out of it. It takes a while to go. But embrace but you're it. Gonna love embrace it. it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> it's the best thing ever.